Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything is fine. Oh, Hi, I'm Shay Lisi, and welcome back to my channel. We are... <laughs> okay, rude. We're fixing my Sportster summer project, which is now the midsummer Sportster project. Josh is being loud. I have not yet begun to be loud. Who throws tools? That one was actually next. I don't believe you. I actually took this dirtster for a pretty big test ride that didn't make it to the channel because I lost all the audio. Yeah, it's your first time riding a sportster off road too, which is super cool. And it's just like, haha, just kidding, we don't get that on camera. Yeah, so uh, instead, you guys get me just fixing it up. Josh worked on pretty much everything while I took two weeks to sit on the couch and be sick and sad. It's okay, we're back at it. It's gonna be fun. Dude. Back at it again. Back at it again with the bullshit, with the sportsters. Back at it again with another sportster. Well, that, mine's done, so time to get the dirtster ready. It's the dirtster two, two dirtsters. You'll get a lot of wiring to do to this. We're gonna put that speedometer on it. I have no idea how to do that because Shelby did almost all of my wiring for me on the Green Goblin. I will tell you that while doing this, I have a 50% success rate. Sportster Midsummer Dream is back on. You gotta use a ball and Allen, which you have to be careful with. I don't like to be careful with anything. Reckless optimism is a quality much beloved of the moon. Make sure it's really in there and you're putting pressure on it. If it slips out, then that's where you get messed up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're just kidding, you're doing fine. Dang, all right, strong girl. I just don't think these were in there that hard because they look really rusty, but I really wish horn covers didn't look so stupid. I'm a hater. Horn hater? I'm a horn hater, dude. Or hopping? I don't mind that. Shit, goddamn, I'm a man, I'm a man. Yeah, it's hard to make horns look cool, man. There's not gonna be a horn on my chopper, right? No. Thank God. No, no horn. Choppers don't have horns. Oh, thank God, dude. No. Well, I don't I know. Just know. Fuck no. I don't know those kinds of No, 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 of I know. I'm, I'm just saying. So it's like, if you see someone and they're like, where's the horn? And they're talking about your chopper, either they're f***ing with you or they're a nerd. Wow, I did my job so much faster than you. I'm such a good tech. Yeah, these are the hard ones. Okay. okay. At this point, if you completely remove yours, you yeah. should be able to pull it out. Are they out? Yeah. Really? All right, okay. Pull on it. There you go. Look at those seals. What do they look like? Do they look cracked? Messed up at all? This one, yeah. Yeah. I, I had a feeling, like, this was not running right, so I had a feeling that these were messed up. Anyway, with Evo's sports, like, the intake seals, it's not if, it's when. But we have a brand new intake because that one's cracked. So what this stuff is, is just it's silicone. It's not lube. It's uh, just silicone and um, How much? silicone grease. No, no, no. Just, like... No, 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 not a lot. So what are you going to do? Is that too much? Yes. <laughs> this is gross. I know. This reminds me of going to the gynecologist. You're just going to do like this. First, here, let me borrow some of that. <laughs> it's gross, right? And just like this. That's all you need. But now, once you have it on there, don't obviously let it touch anything that has dirt on it, or that will be bad. Because <laughs> it will stick to it immediately. And then you can put it down on my seat. Is the seat dirty? Probably. Oh, let's say let's put clean. it on there. I meant like on the, the freaking lift is like disgusting right now. Yeah, dude, it's gross. It's because of Angela's bike. Oh shit, you know what sucks about what we're doing right now? What? Is what Shelby always does. It's probably not completely necessary to align it. He bolts it all in before he completely tightens it. That's why you have that silicone in there and that's why it can move around to be exactly where it needs to be. Luckily, if you do this wrong, it's like pretty easy to take it back out again. Like this is one of the easiest parts of the bike to access. On other V-twins, this is like psychotically impossible. Sidebar from working on the Dirtster working on the Sportster, because I didn't want to put these on the Dirtster. <laughs> I mean, uh, they got them because they were they were used and crusty, so I was like, oh, they're perfect for the Dirtster, but they did clean up really nice. We should have taken some before pictures because they were really crusty. A little bit of black diamond polish on that chrome, a little bit of turtle wax, and it is uh, maybe not as good as new, but definitely better. Also, what the f What? Wrong. Yeah, these aren't the fucking right ones. What year are these for? Maybe these aren't the right ones. <laughs> Send them back nicer than they were. Dude, what the f 
Not today, Spider-Man. Well, it's been a few days since we've been working on the dirt stir. Unfortunately, I didn't call seat check, so I lost my spot on the lift. You can tell everyone's been working really hard. All right, well, don't forget your rubber piece that goes on the intake. Yeah. And are these, front ones, are these front ones need to be tightened down? Yes, they do. Is You're there like a torque spec for this? Uh, probably. That's uh, Shelby. When he get, yeah, when he gets here afterwards. <laughs> Bilbo's probably so scary. Right well, it's because he's been bad, okay? What you can do is you First can. Of all, you this can. This needs to go through. Yes, it does. You go up top over the head or under the head? So, this actually has a bolt on it, but you can put it in front. It's like a relocation kit. So, why don't you just leave it up here? Maybe we'll just bolt it in somewhere up here. Okay. And don't forget your throttle cables, too. Yeah. Ah. Uh, what? I'm going to start with that. <laughs> Remember, it's push and pull. Yeah. I'm sweaty. <laughs> yeah, it's hard work. Make sure you're not pushing that gasket in in a way where it's gonna not gonna be sealing properly. Yeah, I think I'm pushing it in a way. It's okay. It's a should probably check. You're gonna run it right into like three bikes if it's not. Yeah, right. Man, that shit uh, le leans. Yeah. Did you help? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if it's just heavier or if it just leans a lot. It's not heavier, it's just over farther. It goes leans over, so it's, you're picking it up from farther over. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it starts right up. Josh and I are on the dueling dirt stirs. I'm so excited for all the possible trips that we could take. We missed the Sportster summer. Maybe we'll go on a little Sportster midsummer trip. Oh my God, it goes into neutral so much easier than mine. My dream off-roading adventure is to do the transcontinental trail, but I don't know if I'm doing that on a Sportster. So let me know what kind of trips you'd be interested in seeing Josh and I take on the dueling dirt stirs. Oh shit, I got mirrors. With Sportsters, there's so many kinds of modifications that we can do to it. It's really endless. I don't really know a lot about bikes, so tell me what you think I should do. Josh and I are always in the comments looking for recommendations about what you guys think. We trust your advice and we want to know your opinion. We are at the post office to check the P.O. box and also try and send some money to Rhea the welder on Instagram because she built my sissy bar for my chopper. I do not trust this kickstand. Okay, it's down. Is there a different kickstand we can put on this? Cool. They make longer kickstands. Well, that's going to be the first want that's added to the list. Everything that's been added so far is a need. We, we can do want. We don't have to do wants and needs or anything. It's just summer. It's not a time sensitive. Yeah, I may need a lift. This is. A, I'm leaning. Okay, let's see. I'm definitely gonna need a lift. Start pushing it because you should be at a better angle. Actually, yeah, I got it. The road angles down this way. The kickstand's up higher. Oh yeah. Having keys might help. We gotta get back to my house because we are live streaming on Twitch tonight. Been thinking about live streaming on YouTube more regularly instead of Twitch, but Twitch is just such a better service for live streaming. The quality ends up coming out so much better and I feel like the environment is a little bit different. So if you wanna come check out my Twitch channel, I do live stream every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you're watching this video live in the premiere right now, you can head to Twitch directly after if you haven't had enough of me and Shade Tree Surgeon. You know, there probably is a lot of people that have had enough of us. 
But if you like us, you probably can't get enough. Oh, we're going off-roading. I went off-roading with this Sportster before, but I lost all the audio to that. Whew, that was a big dip. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's just a real sandy patch. Josh out here wildin', okay? We are just in the middle of Tampa right now. I'm gonna follow his trail exactly. Oh, shit, I just went over a trunk. Okay, we're all good, we're turning around. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Everything is fine. I don't know if I'm trying to convince you or me right now. Big dip. I hate how much easier this bike shifts than the Green Goblin. Oh, we're riding back by the Bro Bowl, but I didn't bring the Brap Star skateboard this time. Oh, uh, no more, no way. I know my limits and I ain't got nothing to prove. What the hell, Josh? Literally got my ass riding through construction zones. How'd it feel off road? Um, a little slip on the on the sand. That's a, I mean, it's gonna slip around for sure. It's like a dirt bike, you know, it kind of moves move around. Oh, it's f***ing hot. Let's run back into our enclosure. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. And just a reminder that we're going live on Twitch directly after this video premieres. So I will see you in just a few minutes. And also a reminder that we're gonna be raffling off this FXR that's behind me and this other FXR that's behind me with everything going straight to Forgotten Angels to benefit their mission to end the cycle of foster care abuse. Tickets are only $25 and we're drawing the winner this Friday on Shade Tree Surgeon's channel. Thank you so much for hanging out and I hope to see you on Twitch. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>